it's an open system interconnection model that was developed by ISO. It's implemented in order to standardize the functions of network communications without affecting its technology. So this OSI model has divided the networks in seven sub layers. So these are the seven layers of the OSI model. Starting from the bottom, it's physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, and application layer. So let's discuss about this in detail. So among these seven layers, the top three layers, that's application layer, presentation layer, and session layer are purely system or an OS oriented. Whereas the bottom four layers of physical layers, data link layer, network layer, and transport layer is a purely network oriented layers. So let, let me start from the top layer. It's application layer. The application layer is purely end system related. It's an human machine interface. For example, if I want to open my Facebook account, the first thing I need to do is I need to open my web browser. So all these web browser are an, works in application layer. Everything that's Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, whatever it is, it's working on my application layer. So the protocols used here is HTTP, FTP, HTTPS, SMTP, SNMP, DNS, Telnet, DHCP and all. So the next layer is presentation layer. So this layer is responsible for encryption, decryption and representation of data in a user or a human understandable format. That is, if I want, if I am opening my Facebook account, the first thing I need to do is I need to log in with my credentials. So once if I'm giving, once I have given my user ID and password, if I hit login, the user ID and password will be encrypted and then sent in our network, then again decrypted in the server end and processed. So this encryption and decryption will be taken care of a presentation layer and also all the images, the videos and the article, uh, it provides in a way, in a such a way that human can easily understand. So it takes care of the data formats. So the protocols used here is SSL, Secure Socket Layer and TLS etc. So the next next layer is a session layer. This layer is responsible for establishing, maintaining and terminating of a session between the two peers. That is, for example, if I am logging in a particular websites and I am not active for two or three minutes, then my session will be cut down. So this and all will be taken care by this session layer. So the protocols used by here is PPTP, that's point to point tunneling protocol, SAP, then SAP session announcement protocol, NetBIOS, etc. So the next one is transport layer. This is the first layer. Sorry. So this is this layer is purely from this to this four layer is a purely network based layers. So in this layer, the, my data will be divided into number of segments and then transmitted. So the main functions of, of this layer is segmentation of the data and sequencing it and then sending it. The protocols used here is TCP and UDP. For example, when I am using, when I am chatting in Facebook at the same time, I may be using multiple applications in the same browser. For example, I may be using YouTube, I may be uh, having a, my um, Yahoo and I'll be using Gmail and I'll be having multiple things. So for example, if I'm chatting with my friend in Facebook, uh, if I'm sending a hi and my friends send me a reply message for that and it should be correctly delivered to my Facebook instead of, instead of my Facebook, it, it's not supposed to be delivered in my Gmail or Yahoo. So it should be correctly delivered to the particular th particular thing from which I have sent a request. So this will be taken care by the transport layer. So when the data comes to this layer, the data will be segmented and it will be encapsulated with its port number so in order to deliver the correct thing. So next thing is network layer. So when the data comes to network layer, the segments will be again breaks down into packets and these packets will be encapsulated with the IP addresses. So the main functions of this network layer is addressing and routing. So when I am also using my Facebook, 
I may be here and my server may be in some other continent. So this packet should be delivered to the right destination. This is taken care by the network layer. So once it's encapsulated with the IP addresses, it will be routed through the right network. This is taking care of the network layer. So the protocols used here is IP, IPv4, 4th version, 6th version, IPsec, ICMP and Integrated Gateway Protocol, XT Gateway Protocols. So the next thing is data link layer. Here my packets are again divided into frames and it's encapsulated with my MAC address. So this layer establishes a logical connection and it sends frames and it expects acknowledgement for each frames. If there is no acknowledgement, then again it sends the frame. Assume that the frame was not yet delivered. And also it takes care of flow control. So the main function of the data link layer is error detection and flow control. The protocols used in data link layer is ATM, SLIP, frame relay and triple P. So the next layer is a physical layer which the frames are again converted into bits that's zeros and ones and transferred in the media. The physical layer is responsible for the physical medium. So here the bits will be generated and transferred in the physical medium. The protocols used in a physical medium is USB and Bluetooth etc. Devices such as cables, hub, the connector such as RJ45 lot comes under physical layer and the device such as bridge switch will be coming under data link layer and the device such as router will be coming under network layer. So as we already discussed the physical layer it's the lowest layer of the YSA model it activates maintains deactive physical connection and it's responsible for the termination and reception of unstructured raw data over networks device so hub cables or j45 or j11 etc so data link layer the main function is error free data transformation and frame control has been taken care in this net in this layer atm frame relay or triple p are used here switch and bridge are the two devices used in this layer network layer as we have already discussed, it's used to transfer, it's used to forward our packet through multiple network and reaches the destination. So protocols are used here is IPv4, 6, ICMP, IPsec and the device used here are router. So transport layer, this is used for segmentation and sending the packets. The protocols used here is TCP and UDP. Session layer is used to is responsible for establishment, maintaining and termination of a sessions between the two peers. Presentation layer is responsible for encryption, decryption and presenting the data in a user understandable format. Application layer as discussed this is the topmost layer and this is the layer that interacts directly with the human. So this is a human interface layer. The protocol used here is HTTP, DNS, FTP, SMTP, SNMP, Telnet, HTTPS, so on.